Alright everyone, hello and welcome to episode 15 of Zero to Hero. And as you can see, we're away from home this time round against Vegelta Sendai. And uh, for once, it was us scoring <laughs> straight from the kickoff rather than conceding. Um, obviously, if you remember from the uh, end of the last episode, we got injured. And uh, we were obviously in the treatment room for some time. That's the reason why... Uh, I have been dropped to the bench, but it is worth mentioning that as things currently stand going into this game, we are um, in the top half of the table. Uh, but anyways, into the second half, 66th minute, Cross came in, and to be honest, this is kind of one of those goals that again sums up our defence, um, and not just our defence, our goalkeeper is a part of that defence. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the goalkeeper was trying to do there, obviously he was trying to punch the ball away, our centre-back really should have also beat the striker to the ball there on the line, but you know, I guess when you're Vivara Nagasaki, these things happen. Anyway, 75th minute, I was subbed on as a right midfielder, um, obviously trying to get back in the groove of things, back from injury, um, but it didn't take me long, straight away threw ball in to the path of my uh, uh, twin in crime, twin in crime, I'm trying to partner in crime, Suzuki, but he couldn't finish the uh, the one on one, I then have a shot from outside the box, and to be fair, um, it was a really good save from uh, the Vigelta goalkeeper, and then another moment, well, another nightmare, rather, of defending. So Ishihara give the home team the lead. And again, you guys can watch this in terms of a replay. He kind of just smacks our defender in the face and falls back to the goal, to the uh, striker. And we might as well not even have a goalkeeper in goal uh, sometimes, to be fully honest with you guys. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I float a ball into towards the back post. It always seems like uh, whenever I put the ball into the box, my balls are pretty decent. Please don't take that quote out of context. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the strikers just don't really end up doing much with them, which is really annoying. Uh, so we lost that game 2-1, uh, but we got a rating of 6.0. Next, we were up away against the Kashima Antlers, and we once again began on the bench. Uh, Marilla had a chance early on. It's worth mentioning as well that Marilla is currently the top goal scorer in the league. Uh, which has obviously helped us make sure we get off to a better start than we did uh, last season. A header there from Suzuki. It was a good cross from Kono. Um, or was it this one? Sorry, this is this is the cross from Kono. Yep, uh, you, you know, both those headers, you really, given Suzuki's track record, expect him to score. But it seems like he only scores when I'm the one <laughs> trying to assist him. Uh, but anyways, I'm not quite sure what happened here. And then uh, up stepped our kryptonite that is Leandro. Uh, you guys will know by now that Leandro will always seem to score against us uh, whenever we play against Kashima Antlers. Um, and to be fair, you know, again, questions have to be asked of our goalkeeper. It was a nice strike. Um, but at the same time, our goalkeeper isn't really receiving much help from a defence that tends to fall over on top of each other. Fortunately, though, Marilla. <laughs> showed us why he's the top goal scorer by getting the equaliser in the 36th minute good header from the big Spaniard who in a way kind of looks like uh, he kind of looks like that character I can't remember his name from GTA Vice City that wears the uh, the white uh, the white jacket I think I can't I can't I can't remember his name I think that's who I'm thinking of anyways 43rd minute, uh, we, we wanted to get a goal just before the break, and we did. And it was uh, the drug dealer once again, uh, Marilla. You can see what I mean there. He's got, he's got that dodgy moustache about him, you know. I feel like, you know, most players go in at half-time and have their half-time oranges. He goes in at half-time and snorts a line of coke. But anyways, lovely 1-2, 48th minute, and guess who it was again. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Marilla <laughs> so another hat trick for him this season a uh, lovely one too between him and Suzuki and uh, yeah you know it was too much for us to have to try and hold on to a lead I'm not quite sure again where our defence was Suzuki the other Suzuki the antlers Suzuki he scored against us before he does Ronaldo's celebration which is infuriated um, finds the back of the net Marilla then has a chance of his own and unusually for him goes wide um, but anyways with 10 minutes to go the gaffer obviously decided hey this is a good I uh, good time to kind of sub me on as a defensive midfielder and that kind of made sense um, a bit clumsy for me kind of excited to be back 
um, and you know amongst the fishes once again so I do get a yellow card and as you guys can see we make it just about into the 89th minute um, but you know you can never have enough goals you always want to try and get that two goal lead and that's what me and the lads were trying to go for uh, practically entering extra time uh, we have a free kick I get the ball here and I try to pass to the guy to the right of me but instead he kind of runs away from the ball and it kind of automatically gets passed into a Kashima Antlers player and then we concede um, and you know you saw me there on the left hand side just kind of go into ground and I was at fault for this goal being conceded because I basically passed it to one of the Kashima Antlers players that obviously allowed the counter attack to begin so I was really annoyed but Really confused as well because when I rewatched the replay, we get rated of 5.5 unsurprisingly. When we rewatched the replay, or when I rewatched the replay, I kind of just saw the CPU player run away from me. So, you know, it really didn't make sense, even though I probably should have just hoofed the ball up the park or towards a corner flag or something. So, you know, it's a bit of inexperience creeping in. But, anyways, Shonan Belmare, these guys were kind of like uh, one of the other relegation threatened teams from last season. Um, and obviously, I think we were 4 0 up against them last season, and then they somehow mounted a comeback in the second half and it ended up finishing 4-4. I still don't think I've uh, recovered from that game. But, uh, you, know, you know, despite our antics in uh, in the last match, uh, the gaffer decides to still uh, allow us to start a game once again. So, uh, obviously, we're starting on the right wing and I'm causing the opposition all sorts of problems and I get headbutted in the, uh, in the balls there <laughs> by the uh, fullback. Lovely. Uh, flick of the ankle by me with the back pass and uh, we create somewhat of a goal scoring opportunity and then the referee blew his whistle and he was pointed to the penalty spot and then the replay kind of made it clear what happened so Suzuki got brought down here and um, looks more like a WWE match to be honest and then believe it or not um, our very own uh, I don't know what, what, what's that dr famous drug dealer's name I can't remember his name now. <laughs> Our very own leader of the cartel in Marilla missed a penalty. But uh, yeah, I had my assist boots on once again, right hand side. Uh, I, I decided to go for a drilled cross this time round because a lot of the time I put decent lifted balls into the box and just no one gets on the end of them. Uh, it was really played towards that front post player as Kono. But he jumped over it and then left it for Suzuki. But I don't really care because a goal's a goal. Anyhow, um, uh, yeah, so we're on the counter-attack, and uh, Marilla's obviously waiting for my overlap here. I then wait for the overlap of Kono, and uh, suddenly we create a goal-scoring situation, but uh, Kono's ball just wasn't quite good enough for me. I then play uh, Marilla in, he shoots, and he gets saved by the goalkeeper, but we were creating chances, but again, you know, we want that two-goal cushion, because if you don't have a two-goal cushion, exactly this happens. And again, it's the same old story, guys. It was a very good strike, but a part of me just feels like the goalkeeper should be saving that. Um, you know, that one wasn't particularly down to the defence. Um, but fortunately, the opposition's defence was poor as well. Kono, who'd had a good game up until this point, managed to uh, put us back in the lead with a lovely finish with his left foot. Uh, and then... 62nd minute, or 60th minute rather, I get a yellow card. And then 62nd minute, I pick the ball up eventually on this right-hand side, thanks to a nice through ball. And then I return the favour to the man in the middle that was Kono, but he got tackled and uh, the referee deemed uh, no penalty. 73rd minute, I pick the ball up. I had to do a lot of tracking back this game. I do a lot of tracking back in general whilst playing as a right midfielder that you guys don't really necessarily see on the highlights a lot of the time. Uh, one on one chance for me, but it was always going to be a tight angle. Um, and, you know, when you kind of force a save out the goalkeeper, you hope that your teammate pounces on it which unfortunately didn't quite happen. And then in the 77th minute, we saw an exact carbon copy of the goal that went in in the first half. And, you know, I mean, I understand defensively we should be doing better, but, you know, I'm not really sure the strike is that good for the goalkeeper to be that, to struggle that much with it. It just feels like our goalkeeper constantly positions himself a little bit too close to the front post. But anyways, 10 minutes to go, we were still on the pitch. Our goalkeeper finally remembered how to save a shot on goal. Umasaki was then played in and miraculously our defender 
um, found a burst of pace from somewhere. Once again, here's me <laughs> basically running the length of the pitch because we were playing right back trying to defend. And now, obviously, as we try and transition, I'm trying to get forwards and into the box, try and create a chance on goal. And the chance on goal was what I created. And I'm not really quite sure how the opposition goalkeeper saved that, to be honest. Um, it was good volley from me. But he almost kind of saved it with his feet, almost like he tackled the ball. But anyways, quick, clean and easy one-twos through the middle of the box. And with almost the last kick of the game, I somehow find the back of the net. And that's sometimes I have to do. Yes, I'm playing as a right midfielder, but when we need a goal, I do sometimes have a tendency to come central. You saw a lot of small, intricate passes being played. Um, off myself and some of the players around me and it's just about that you know pass and move it was credit where it's due to number 24 you know having that vision to spot my run through the middle there and uh, I guess I was the hero in the end uh, rating of 9.0 for me but not getting man of the match it leaves us in ninth place in the league on 17 points and uh, on that bombshell I think I will bid you guys farewell until the next episode thanks for watching